This video will provide an overview of the six steps for setting up a successful commercial facility or community in MyQ business. This video is intended for demonstration purposes only. Step 1. Create a facility within MyQ business, selecting the facility type that matches the one you are setting up. A residential facility should be selected when the primary function of the facility is for residential units or an office business where the access control was needed. A commercial facility should be selected when the primary function of the facility is a warehouse or office business with a high number of commercial door operators that they are trying to connect. Step 2. If you are creating a community, you will need to set up a subscription and then connect controllers. If you are setting up a commercial facility, you will immediately start adding controllers. Step 3. Add a new controller. A controller monitors and controls access of residents, staff, vendors, and guests for gates or doors. The control panel number, or CP number, is found on a label that is either on or inside the product. Note that the system will automatically create basic settings for doors, zones, groups, and schedules. This will change slightly for a commercial facility as you will connect the MyQ hubs to MyQ business and individual operators to the MyQ hubs or gateways. Step 4. Verify the settings for door 1 and make the appropriate changes. A door is an access point in or around the facility which will be triggered by a relay or MyQ signal. Step 5. Add credentials. A credential is a card, transmitter, long-range RFID tag, or entry code. For a commercial facility, skip this step and move on to adding people. Step 6. Add people. The people are the residents, staff, and vendors who need access to the facility. You'll need to send an invitation to allow login access to MyQ Business. Keep in mind that commercial facilities are limited to 25 users. For more information, visit dealer.liftmaster.com.